Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Death and Destiny. I am Death from Above. Today I have a funny video for you. And I don't mean funny haha, I mean just funny because I usually make weapon videos and this is not a weapon video. So, there's a big controversy about an interview a Bungie developer gave to Eurogamer, I think? It's either a magazine or a, just a website, I don't know. But anyway, Luke Smith is the dev and he was talking to Eurogamer and they kind of got a little mad about uh, his responses to what the interview was asking. It basically revolved around the pricing of the Taken King and how the collector's edition costs $80 and it has some in-game stuff that you can't get any other way and the people that uh, <clears throat> that have already purchased all the original content, the two DLCs and the original game would have to rebuy all that stuff with the collector's edition to get these in-game things and I think it's like an exotic uh, class item and a shader and you know stuff that's this just cosmetic it may have a couple perks that help beginning players but anybody that's played the game is probably not going to benefit too much from it but uh <clears throat> it's still stuff that you would maybe want i guess i don't know i wasn't too taken by it i, I don't really care <clears throat> oh yeah you get a strange coin too like a physical actual strange coin but anyway they were interviewing him and kind of asking him about that and the uh the interviewer was voicing his concerns about these things and saying you know he's been a player for since launch and he wants to be able to <clears throat> you know have his time n not rebuy the game just to get these things that he feels like he wants and uh they, they got into kind of a snarky discussion where luke smith started talking about <clears throat> the pricing and how there was one comment that he made talking about throwing you know if you saw the new dance moves you would throw money at the screen or something like that it was just it was a poorly choiced phrase at the time <clears throat> so Deej at Bungie is having to do a lot of smoothing over anyway you can go read the whole article over at Eurogamer I'll put a link somewhere in the description or something and uh, you can go check it out but it led me to a question that I wanted to ask you guys do you think that the pricing is cool for the Taken King um, right now the pricing for the collector's edition is right about $80 but you're getting the original game the two DLCs that are already out and the Taken King and some uh, some cool stuff like the strange coin I was talking about and the uh, the emblem I don't know if it's an emblem but you get you get a couple other things that aren't aren't uh, game changing but are ooh, I'm trying to steal the ball come here I'm trying I want it no I want it come here they're not game changing but they're uh, they're you know visual type things dance moves something I don't know but uh, 80 bucks for that the regular but now listen if you don't care too much about that stuff the regular version is just forty dollars for the Taken King digital download just if you want to buy it so you're not you don't have to pay eighty dollars it's not gonna be eighty bucks and then there is a like a game of the year edition or a legendary edition or something that's not the collector's edition that's fifty five that has all the original content so people oh the interviewer is also voicing his concerns about or maybe it's just the community is voicing their concerns about the original content being less than what they paid for it now that I'm gonna disagree with wholeheartedly on the uh, on the whole on the whole because it's just the nature of the industry the nature of entertainment and the nature of anything that the price depreciates over time so the game's been out a year almost so the original game is not gonna be fifty dollars sixty dollars again just for the original game if you paid that for a collector's edition it'd be like hundred and forty dollars for all the content so I'm gonna say the the pricing structure to me seems perfectly fine and if you think Bungie is not gonna offer those items that were for sale with the collector's edition if you don't think they're gonna offer them individually at some point you're kidding yourself because they know what the community wants and they've been very responsive so I'm not even uh, the least bit worried about it I think it's gonna be fine I think everybody's gonna get everything they want they just don't know it right now so that's what I think but I wanna know what you guys think um, what do you think about the pricing structure of the Taken King I, I personally have no problem with it it leads me to believe in the future there might be microtransactions and microtransactions can have a kind of a a bad taste you know microtransactions those sound terrible but what if you could spend money real world money on like a dance move like oh this is my dance move but I can do a different dance move if I spend a dollar or you get a special shader that's not available in the game but you can pay for it it's a cool shader it's like black and red or something I'd be down for that pay me a, I'd pay a dollar a couple times for that five dollars for like a group of dance moves or you know motions where you could do something besides point you know stuff like that gladly 
And so it leads me to the question, what if they put that structure in and you didn't have to pay for a DLC? Like you didn't have to shell out 20 bucks for the next House of Wolves. You could just, you know, they would just be riding the income of the microtransactions and making the DLCs free. Hmm, that sounds like an awesome idea. Thanks, I'm glad I thought of it. <clears throat> I actually didn't think of it, but I stole other people's ideas, but I figured I'd share them with you. So, <clears throat> that's my thoughts on that. What do you guys think? How do you feel about the... Uh, the pricing structure of the Tekken King, do you think the controversy has any grounds? Um, are you happy with the content that you think you're going to get out of the Tekken King? I, so far, I don't see any problem with anything. You know, we don't know a lot of stuff, but uh, I think everything we know is pretty cool, and it's going to be fine. I don't think there's any any problem. So, let me know what you think. I'm uh, going to dance it out on the, on the beam. Dangerous dancing from Death from Above. This is my new dance class. Everybody come join me. We'll get a workout. But anyway, guys, I'm going to dance it out. Thank you so much for watching. I am Death from Above, and I'll see you next time. See you back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Death and Destiny. I am Death from Above. Today, we have a legendary Max video on the Shadow of Veils. It is the legendary sniper rifle you get from the Prison of Elders. Mine is Ark, and it's got some pretty good perks, I think. Um, it reads, Judgment on the Unseen is best performed from a distance. Um, it's a pretty weird looking sniper rifle. It looks like a spear gun. Looks like I should be hunting Moby Dick with this thing. Come here, Moby. Let me spear you with my gun. Mm, that'd be fun. Okay. Anyway, Shadow of Veil.